Oh my god, he is cool looking. <laughs> I love it. He's got a he's got a spear. All right, we we need a name for this guy. Pincushion. <laughs> okay, because he's got you know he's got all these sc uh, s uh, skulls pinned to his back. Okay, so his name's Pincushion. All right, everybody, it is Horde Night. Um, one thing I needed to make sure I can do is reach those two fence posts. Um, if I have to, I'll take this railed off. And we're going to have to be careful, too, with that setup. But the idea is we can sit here and melee. And they come up the ladder and get zappity dude. And hopefully... Uh, you know, don't do too much damage. We should actually try and turn the um, the buffers when we can. But yeah, the fence the fence boss with this design will um, will keep them from doing as much damage as well as you know do the normal fence post thing. And uh, I can just sit here and melee. So it's going to be hard to get headshots, but I think, you know. Um, oh, there's the buffer. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> but this should, I, I mean, I hope it works. We'll see. It worked really well on vanilla, but. I, and uh, as far as I can tell, I think the. Okay, hold on. I've got to turn this down. It's super loud. Uh, I think as far as I can tell, the pathing of the zombies still work more or less the same in Rebirth as it does in, um, you know, normal vanilla. So we'll see. And, you know, we're not going to turn all of them, but we'll turn a few of them. So that way those zombies can also, you know, help with uh, crowd control, stuff like that. We go. got a nice headshot there, but this is a pretty significant improvement over the last hard night because at least I can do something. You know, I'm not just pretty much helpless in terms of getting any XP or anything like that. Um, you know, we are we are level four witch doctor, but I just did not have time to do anything about that. Um, so we'll mess with that in the morning. Oh, we got tagged there. Okay, I need to back up just a little bit. And the, you know, the angled ramp piece that you see there, that is, um, that's steel. And I have a little extra steel left over to affect repairs. Oh, yeah, this seems to be working okay so far. Okay, there's a doctor. Yeah, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, too, I should probably check the, check those things. Yeah, wow. They're doing a little more damage to that than I thought they would. Okay, use that on the on the dock. This is also going to need some attention, too. And I have my sludge turret up there for, for vultures. I, I didn't have enough time to complete this all the way. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Get the dock. Docks and cops should be shot. And everybody else, we should just try and get a bleed on. And a headshot when we can. Well, they, they don't stay in place long enough, as, which is a good thing, you know, actually, because they're not up here beating on stuff constantly. Let's just kind of check everything around here. Oh, I didn't mean to upgrade that to steel. I want, you know what though? 
I should upgrade this block to steel because it's it's really taking some hits. All right. And I, you know, I do have my potions and all that too, but I want to try and preserve those as much as possible. But we've already gotten more headshots and kills in the first, what, 30? Uh, well, I can't tell what time it is. First couple of minutes in real time of Horde Night than we did in the entire Horde Night last week, so. Well, we got to get a nail gun as soon as possible too, because that'll help us repair more quickly. All right, let's get a couple people helping us out. Okay, let's check repairs. The other thing we can do too is we can move over to the other side. Um, I've got electrical... Oh, shit. I don't have very many electrical parts. Okay, how are these guys doing? Okay, let's tap that one, and... We can't repair... Yeah, I might have to... Do something a little different for the, that. But, like I said, I, I spent every single moment I had since I left you guys in the last episode getting this ready, so... Just didn't have time to do a whole lot with it. Get the cop turned. Now well, we got another doctor. And we have a we have another buffer too of some sort. Uh, well, not of some sort, of the, the guy that does the uh I think it's yeah, the the damage buff. So he's the guy in the there's the dock right there. Alright, good. We got the dock on our side. <laughs> right as I took some damage. Um, I was going to say something else. can't remember what it was. Yeah, see this? Oh! Man, glad thing we, uh, or good thing we had ladders there, huh? Okay. Let's see if we can patch that up a little bit. Yeah, if this had not been a scaffolding ladder, we would have fallen all the way through. So it's a little tough to keep up with the damage here, just with this hammer, and I'm a little concerned about my, you know, resources lasting the night. But, I mean, we'll go as long as we can. Let's, In fact, let's go ahead and move them over to this side now. Ideally, I'd like to kill the doc if we can find her, or at least turn her to our side. One of the explosion resistance just knocked me over. I might want to give myself a little more room up here too. Just that I don't want to put too many blocks down because of SI reasons. Okay, let's check that, that, back here. Let's just upgrade this to concrete. It's these angled ones that are the real important ones, so we have to stay in good shape. Oh, we're out of steel. Oh, no. Okay. Well, we might not be able to stay here the whole entire night, but it definitely works. It's just, you know, I need enough materials to... Um... You know, be able to keep it repaired. A nail gun would help with that because we'd be able to repair more quickly. 
and a little more steel in the setup would be good too. So, you know, we should be able to hopefully accomplish all of that in the next episode. Or, I'm sorry, the next Horde Night. Just uh, didn't have a lot of time, so. Okay, we got the buffer on our side. Now he's buffing us for more damage. Same thing here. Let's put that in place. That's got to be happening from cops down below, you know, just spitting up at me. Well, actually, though, they shouldn't be spitting at me if they don't have line of sight to my head, so... Yeah, that's, that's weird. Not really sure exactly why that's happening, but it is. Okay, we still have a dock. And there's the buffer. Let's get him on our side again. Okay, I think we just killed the dock. Get a few headshots in here. All right, let's top off our health. And we should also... Uh, let's eat something here and drink this water. Ten headshots, twenty-two kills so far. Doesn't sound like much for a hard night, but it's an vast improvement over the last hard night. Let's check. Oh, we don't have any steel, so that's going to have to last as long as it lasts. Okay. All right, we have a doctor somewhere. It's either Turner or Killer. There she is. All right, she's my friend. All right, let's run over here really quick and check that. Um, we should probably get rid of this because I can't reach that other fence post. And I'll have to come up with a, a better solution for that. Um, oh. Another fence post isn't even showing any damage. Okay. It's okay by me. Trying to get to the dock there. I might need to also put in some... Um, uh, like a grate that I can see through down below so I can shoot them down there too. But like I said, I had to throw this together really fast, so it's not perfect. But we got a good proof of concept of nothing else, right? Where's that doctor at? Let me get her. Okay, there she is. Got her. Okay, nice. Popping those heads with that HP ammo. Okay, let's do a, a quick repair here. Just gonna touch everything up. Um, we're 
not doing super good on our our steel uh, angled pieces, but I'm out of concrete, so not much I can do about it. If those break before the night's over, we'll we'll probably have to abandon things for for now. That reminds me, um, I was supposed to. Um, I wasn't supposed to upgrade those blocks because we have to get out of here. I gotta be able to pull them up. Um, so we better deal with that now while we can. I was I was just upgrading shit like crazy and I didn't think about it. There, that way we can pull those up behind us if we have to abandon ship here. Get a few more of these guys working for us here. Okay, back to some melee. Nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying out our skeleton zombie. Um, companion. I, I took a very quick look at the recipe, but like I said, I just didn't have time to to do anything with it. Plus, this isn't really... Companions aren't really going to be able to help us a whole lot in this situation anyway. We're kind of just on our own with this arrangement, but that's okay. As long as it works. It seems to be doing pretty good so far. See if we can get most of this upgraded to steel by next week and then have plenty of steel to repair with and have a nail gun, then I think it'll be pretty viable. We just got radiation poisoning. I don't know if I have a Prussian blue back of the base or not. So that's tomorrow morning's problem, though. <laughs> Can't do anything about it right now. See this? You know, being able to turn these guys like this is really nice because it takes a little bit of the pressure off the base. And then gives me a moment to do some repairs. It's a nice little setup. All right, let's go check the... Do I have any electrical parts? Yeah. Let's go check these. Okay, that lower one does... Either it's out of my reach or it just seems to be doing really good. Yeah, and I'll, I'll cut a couple of these blocks out and put a, a grade in so I can shoot down, straight down, too. See better what's going on down there. Some of those fuckers can really reach, man. A little tricky finding just the right distance to be to where you can get to them and they can't get to you. Something like it's really damaged down there. I wonder if it was a ladder. This is a seems to be a pretty good distance here.
those bleeds going. Oh, okay. First vulture. We're just going to have to deal with them with our gun for now. So I wasn't able to get the cage finished. At least if they come, you know, from uh, the side, like that one was. sounds like a boss vulture oh my god it's morning already holy shit that went by fast <laughs> all right nice i guess if you don't have a a clock to watch right it goes by quickly i hear some zom dogs down there because yeah they can't climb the ladder here's our buffer His head's down. Or off, rather. <laughs> Fucking cop. No blowing up. Not allowed. Do we have a, do we have like an outbreak now or is this just the stragglers? Good God, die dude. Oh, they broke that ladder. I think we did it. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, there's an outbreak down there or at least a wandering horde. But you know, they're not attacking me. Um, okay, we could, we could kill those guys, but I don't want to kill them here. So we reduce, the um, you know, horde base damage. So let's go down and kind of assess that situation. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty much out of... Um, high power ammo. All right, let's uh, let's put you down and resume. Make sure you're on resume. We are thirsty. If we're gonna take this horde on, um, coffee would not be a bad idea. And let's also. A little more food going too, just so we don't run out of that in the middle of this battle. Okay. Oh, shit. God damn it. Wasn't paying attention. All right, here. Let's uh, pop one of these. Right, where's that other fucking dog at? Um, let's get some extra help here. Oh shit. All right, boys, let's go. Another dog? God damn it. He must be outside. Let's 
grab all of this stuff. Oh, good. We got an antibiotic and some steel. Nice. Looks like that bear's doing a number on the horde there. Fine with me. Okay. Let me uh, let me turn my volume back up to normal because it's a little bit too quiet now. I had that up at about 80 or something. 86, fine, doesn't matter. All right. Successful hard night. Um, we have some repairs to do. We have some upgrading to do. But uh, all in all, I think that worked out pretty damn good. Too bad we couldn't get the fence post a little bit closer to the ladder, but I don't, I don't know how I would do that. Yeah, it is what it is. And, you know, <clears throat> it's not a bad thing that the fence posts aren't hitting every single zombie anyways, because that makes them last longer. And it lets a few, you know, through for me to, to kill. So, yeah. All right. Let's, um, we do need to be concerned about this um, radiation poisoning. Let's see if we can kill a couple more of these guys. Um, is that a cop or? No, it's not. Okay. Let's get you guys on our side here. God damn it, die, motherfucker. Okay. Alright. Get rid of you. Another bag there. Drop those bags. Uh, there's a buffer over there. Oh, and he's being buffed by somebody else. That's what that shield means. Who else is buffing him? I don't know, but let's... Oh, he's, he's trying to catch a chicken. In fact, here, why don't we do that? Okay, so... How is it that you're being buffed? I don't see anybody else around here. Yeah, I don't know, man. God, he's a fast mover. See, I can't... Oh, fuck, man, I can't kill him. Oh, we got him finally. Okay. Holy shit. Okay. Did Smiles die? Smiles must have died. No, wait. That smiles. Yeah, I just I just need to rename him. Um I got attacked by a death's uh whisper event when I was trying to build the horde base and uh, the boss killed smiles. I ended up killing the boss, but yeah. Okay, more loot bags. We've got an Edgar here. And then we got a guy over here.
I think that pretty much cleans them up. Is this sand? No, it's clay. Okay. I need sand like there's no tomorrow. Um, because of making, you know, for making concrete. All right. Well, I would say that was a success. It was by far the best Horde Night I've had <laughs> in this series. <laughs> Last Horde Night was just about us surviving. The first Horde Night, we'll, well, let's not even talk about the first Horde Night, okay? That's not allowed. You guys cannot ever bring that up. Never. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to hit her through there. Who are you fighting? Ah, nice. More loot for us. Oh, there she is. Um, all right. Did we get anything fantabulous? We got good, decent stuff, but probably nothing to write home to mother about. This antibiotic is actually really nice. Um, and then, you know, we got a little bit of extra steel and stuff. Not, again, not a ton, but it'll help with the repairs. So, yeah. Um, what I will do then is probably on... Uh, uh, 20, probably starting the day of 27. Um, I'll, I'll come back here, get this fixed up and upgraded. And hopefully we'll, you know, we'll have enough steel by then to, to make, you know, all of the, the crucial parts of it anyways, steel. And then we'll try this again. I, I think it worked, you know, considering that I didn't have enough time to completely get it all put together. I think it worked out pretty good. I do indeed. All right, guys, let's see here. Hold on. I think what we're going to do is go back to the base and see if we can get our skeleton warrior going. And I'm also very low on gasoline, too, so I'm going to have to go out and rent some cars. Or, you know, I might actually... Wait, maybe we should go do a desert trip, see if we can find some shale. Because the thing about the shale is we need it both for gasoline... Uh, well... Actually, hold on. No, I don't have a Kim bench in this uh, this series. I have it in the purge, but I don't have it here. Well, we need the shale for concrete, though, right? Um, as and I guess we're just gonna have to keep relying upon wrenching cars for gasoline for the time being. But uh, first order of business is let's see if we can get this skeleton warrior put together for us here. Let's see what that's all about. I can only assume that the skeleton warrior, uh, or sorry, the zombie skeleton is going to be stronger than smiles. Um, all right, so let's do this. Bada bing, bada boom, and we'll put the chicken in the Barbie. <laughs> That's funny. I think it's funny. Come on, you guys. You thought it was funny, didn't you? Okay, we'll put that in there. We'll put these, all of these repair items can go in here for now. Uh, sh oh, we're full. Put those there, and that we need to actually take over to the forge. Let's put this hammer here, and we'll grab that guy. Uh, excuse me, how this ammo will go and do an exchange? Um, why didn't you go in there? I don't know. Oh, because you were in a lock slot. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, Prussian blue. Right, right, right. Do I have any? Oh, I do. Look at that. We're saved. We are saved. I couldn't remember if I had any. Okay, so that takes care of our radiation poisoning. <clears throat> it's a beautiful thing. Those should not be in locked slots. In fact, let's just unlock. Uh, that shouldn't either. Uh, so let's move these arrows to here, move that to there, and unlock these guys. Okay. Um, so we're not in too bad of shape on food and, uh, with food and water. And let's try one of these furious, famous fabatas. 
And let's do a bacon and eggs. We could do... Let's let's try a... I think I tried this once, but I don't remember what the outcome was. Let's make a boiled meat. I want to see, A, how much water it gives, and B, if we get our jar back. I think we do get our jar back. I think Ramsey made it so that you do. Okay, we'll eat that. Um, whoops, wrong button. Let's take a look at this. So we, oh my God, we are, we're already done with the witch doctor for. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So, um, size are 37.8 in, well, rifles, uh, or tactical rifles are, are too far behind for us to, to worry about in terms of advancing witch doctor itself. We want to keep advancing it for its own sake, of course. Uh, all right. So now. For for Witch Doctor, we can we have another 50 seconds of mind control and then we can now have a skeleton zombie. For black magic, we have zombies have 80% more health, deal 100 percent more damage, and regenerate four life per second. We can scythe damage, or your scythe damage can turn feral zombies. So that means I have to use my scythe and I can't use black magic arrows, I assume. I can craft a tier two skeleton warrior. Ooh. So an upgraded version of smiles and then zombie skeleton, zombie companions. Okay. So, um, let's focus on the skeleton warrior first. Oh, uh, sorry that I keep saying skeleton warrior. the, the zombie skeleton companion, this guy. So we're going to need stuff. We're going to have to go to the snow biome to get shock immune. All right. So this is not going to be, what's a skeleton army? An army of skeleton wares. Are you shitting me? Really? <laughs> okay. That's cool. That is really cool. Um, how do we unlock tier two bolts? Is that, is that like the next level here? This, oh, this will allow, allow us to have two horror panthers. Is that in addition to the, the companion? Okay. Let's look at, look, look at black magic. Where, do, where are our tier two arrows unlocked? Okay. So yeah, it is level five. You can craft iron arrows and bolts that can turn feral zombies to temporarily fight for you. Okay. So it is level five. I just, I was looking at for the wrong words there. Um, okay. So we, uh, we just got to get size up to the next level and then, uh, and then we should be able to, to start working on level five of this. Oh yeah. That's going to be great. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, the only thing I, th I can make right here and now I think is the tier two skeleton warrior. And that's, that's going to be an ingredient, right? So this will be the ingredient to make the potion. And then we're going to want, um, to make the, the permanent tier two skelly. We need six of these. Okay. So let's go back and make five more of these and then to make the tier two potion, we just need the token thingy and six potions of vile murky water or no six vials of murky water. Right. Okay. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and grab those. Gotta fix my hay bales. Those hay bales are very fragile. You just barely bump them and they seem to break. Uh, 
okay. Now, let's make six of those. <clears throat> and we, we're actually going to want to make more of those anyways for our, our throwables. <clears throat> so... We've got the one tier one left. We'll we'll use it, and then after that, let's have maybe uh, ten more available. But we'll wait till you know we can make this first. All right. So, yeah, we, we I we need to take a trip to the desert so I can get sand, so I can get oil shell for making concrete. And then I guess we're going to have to pop into the snow biome and see if we can kill some shocker, shocker so we can get the their heads. Um, what did I do with the other heads? All right. How many, how much firepower, uh, fire powder can I make with this? Oh, we got to have the, that's right. We have to have the body bags. Um, have I even looted any body bags yet? I need to start doing that. I don't think I have. I think I picked a few up um, in the purge playthrough. Okay, so yeah, that's that's on the list. We got to start grabbing body bags. I'm surprised I hadn't started doing that because I knew I was going to, but it just didn't occur to me. All right, let's make ourselves a Skeleton Warrior Tier 2. This is our permanent guy. This is basically Smiles' bigger brother. So we probably can't put him down. Ooh, look at him. <laughs> That's awesome, Ramsey. I love it. Okay, so Smiles, um, I'm going to give you a break. Let you just rest and relax and go back to the dentist and get your teeth flossed and all that kind of shit that you love to do. Um, appreciate your service, but... Don't go completely away because, you know, I might need you again. Um, so, yeah, come with me. And we'll stick smiles in here. Oh, my God, he is cool looking. <laughs> I love it. He's got a he's got a spear. All right. We, we need a name for this guy. Um, how about pin cushion? <laughs> okay. Cause he's got, you know, he's got all these sc uh, s uh, skulls pinned to his back. Okay. So his name's pin cushion. I know I can't take me anywhere. All right. Pin cushion. Look at you go, man. Awesome. Okay. So now we want to make 10 more temporary pin cushions. And so let's get the ingredient thingies going. All right. And that's, uh, that's about all we can do until we can get the powder, but I'm going to prioritize that. Um, so we can try out the skeleton warrior. So, all right. So what we, what we need to do is we need, um, let's look at this again. We need body bags of fire and shock immune zombies. So to make those, uh, okay. How do I make, how do I place fire immune zombies into body bags? It looks like we just pick up body bags and then do this in our inventory. Okay. Um, and it looks like we need 10, we need five bags and 10 heads to make one body bag. And, and that's all we need. It's just one to make the powder. And then for the zombie skeleton companion, we, oh shit, we need three. God damn it. Nothing's ever easy. Okay, so that means we need to kill 30 fire immune and 30 shock immune. Okay, except for we already have eight, so we just need 22 fires. Let's make the potions. We want uh, tier two potions. 
And oh, we need more murky water. So I guess the trade-off is that you know we get this we can get the skeleton warriors pretty easily. And they, you know, so that gives us that until we get to the actual companion. And I can only assume the actual companion is going to be, you know, stronger than the warriors. Uh, do you have the same inventory space as Smiles? Yeah, you do. Okay. Um. Oh, look at his hit points. Nice. Pencushion has over a thousand hit points. I think Smiles only had like seven hundred and some odd. That's really good. Uh, I still want to confirm we can't put Doom down, right? Nope, we can't. Okay. And that, that that's why we need that charismatic nature, so we can have Doom out as well. Okay, well, we're going to spend a lot of time in the desert, and we're going to spend a hell of a lot of time in the snow biome getting those heads. Um, We have enough, you know, explosion immune, so that, that we're covered on. Uh, and we need body bags too. So those are kind of, those are our, that's on our to-do list for witch doctor-y stuff. On other things that are on our to-do list, uh, moving. So that building straight ahead of us, kind of in the trees there, I'm planning on moving there and that's going to be our permanent home for the series, unless I find something better. So that's high up on the list. I've got a lot of resources that I need to gather, you know, to replenish stuff, um, Make more ammo, that sort of thing. Can I make a better, before I let you go, can I make a better scythe? Let's go to here. And so we can currently make a yellow. I think I'm going to just stick with our current scythe because, I mean, it seems to do pretty good, at least until we get to green. And then we'll make a green. Well, you know what? They're not that expensive. What the fuck? Let's just make it. Not that expensive. Um, we have to probably do this in the workbench, right? Yeah, we have to do that in the workbench. Okay, so we just need uh, screws and forged steel and forged iron. So I'll, I'll make a, a, a yellow version of that. What about our tactical? Okay, we can only make an orange, so we, we should at least wait to, to get to yellow before we make another one of these, because these are a little more expensive to be to make. You know, requiring the weapons parts, which are, you know, relatively rare. Okay, guys. Well, I think that's going to wrap up this episode here, so I'm going to do some off-camera work, you know, gather resources, do all that kind of thing. I think I'm going to also run out to the desert. And find some oil shale and some sand. I'll, I'll probably do that off camera, but I'll keep the I'll keep the camera running in case anything crazy happens. And Pincushion and I will will kill a few uh, fire immune zombies while we're out there to try and get some more heads from them. And then maybe what we'll do in the next episode is uh, maybe we'll work on moving. We, we still have to clear that place. We haven't even, we haven't cleared it, and we need to get working on jobs too. In fact, let hold on. Let me look at that for a second. How close are we? Yeah, you know, if we really buckled down and just did a bunch of jobs to get this to level two, then we could get that charismatic nature, and then we could have a Doom with us too. Uh, or we could even have Smiles with us. The advantage of having Smiles with us is his much bigger inventory space. But Doom, you know, uh, Doom can turn the Zombs, so there's that advantage. There's just so many things to do, right? Um, so I'll figure that out. Regardless, I've got to get some resources gathered no matter what we do. So I'm going to work on that. And then when we start the next episode, I'll let you know what the plan is. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye.